you're going to find that a lot of times they use these little rubber grommets and these little rubber grommets over time will begin to deteriorate and eventually they'll crack and your tank will start leaking like this. They're not very difficult to uh, fix. You can simply replace the rubber grommet with just the, the grommet by itself, which is a simple tank bushing. In this case, it's a uh, 7730 that's on our, uh, our website. Or you can replace the uh, fuel cutoff valve and the grommet in one, uh, one match. So basically what you do is you take your grommet, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you get a little better view of what we're doing. It's, it's not a difficult thing to do at all. But this bushing right here needs to go inside that hole, and the bushing is actually slightly larger than the hole itself. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bushing and you'll slightly place it in the hole and rotate just ever so slightly. By doing that, you're going to seat the edge, you'll notice, of the, uh, the lip in the bottom half of the hole. Then take your screwdriver and very gently push the top half in and the bushing will pop into place just like that. That forms a pretty good seal, but you've got a big hole right in the middle of it that you know all your fuel is gonna come right out of. So you go ahead and take your fuel cutoff valve. You can lubricate this with a little bit of oil or some Vaseline or something like that. Slide it in the hole. until it seats fully, just like this. And now, because this is slightly larger than the hole, it's gonna push out the edges of the uh, bushing and uh, make a good seal so that when you turn the fuel cutoff valve off, none of the uh, fuel comes out.